Yeah. Well, for now, just until we get more boxes. Well, the question is, do we want to turn them off? Because if we don't turn them off, we're not going to have quite a scale. Right. One of the things I love about the shooting Phoenix is that one of the things I love about shooting features is just immersing myself in this world for a long period of time and unveiling this visual language and like letting it evolve. I used to think every single thing has to be figured out before you start shooting. And yes, you should have your rules, so to speak, and define your visual language, but you can only define it so far until you're seeing it and witnessing it in front of your eyes and it's actually taking shape and you're reacting to what the actors are doing within the space that you really haven't you know, lived in before. Still photography is a way for me to study the way things are happening and unfolding in real life and apply that sentiment to the cinematic images that I'm fully in control of. As a cinematographer, we always think about light. Since I started doing this, I'm just hyper aware of light in all situations. And I keep a light journal, and so that's just like a way for me to archive all of those, even if it's just iPhone photos. And I'll write the time of day that I took the photo and where it was and kind of like describe the light if it was like bouncing or like maybe in this instance it was like frontal light but it was nice because it was very shaped and it was falling off of the back wall and was just concentrated to this one area and just the way light reacts onto the textures in New Orleans. There's a sense of surrealness that exists here and this energy and this spirit of this place that is very romantic in a way. All of that stuff is quite stunning and something I'm always observing and inspired by. Each project that I shoot, I make a lookbook. Sometimes it's fun to reflect, you know, after a movie's done and be like, oh yeah, huh. And to see the first inklings of ideas and then where they ended up. Sayur, Sayur, fail you more is the moment of what pay. I shoot everything from my iPhone to my Fuji digital camera to my shitty Nikon or just any other film camera that I have, but it's the one that's on me is the best one. It's all experimenting to me when I shoot film stills. I just genuinely really enjoy trying different stocks and seeing how that stock affects the image and what look that gives me. I mean, everything from Ilford to Ektar to Portra. And I've been loving cine still lately because it's essentially shooting stills of motion picture. It's just a fun stock to shoot. <laughs> 
So it's really all just what I'm in the mood for and what I feel like shooting. There's really no kind of rhyme or reason. When I can, I like to take photos on set. Sometimes it's hard because I'm so busy and I don't really get a second to stop. But it's nice to be able to document my experiences on different shoots. I look at it as a way to document the personal experience and to be able to reflect on those images years later and remember that set and that production and what that world felt like to help create. I guess where I am right now in my life, cinematography happens to be the thing that I'm unpacking and exploring and the vessel to understanding the human condition more and to be able to do that through making images. Film is arguably the most powerful medium of art that can evoke empathy from others. And to be a part of projects that are able to do that is really powerful. To get to collaborate with other artists and to make something that's way bigger than ourselves is, is really where the magic happens. My name is Natalie Kingston. I'm a cinematographer and I live in New Orleans.